Hey everyone, this is Kiana with Diggy Creative Media and today we're going to have an Adobe Illustrator tutorial. We're looking at creating an object to cut out in Cricut Illustrator's design space. So first what we're going to do is go ahead and select the type that we want. We're going to say um, nurses and I'm selecting it, just going to increase the text here. And I'm going to hold down my option key and click and drag to create a duplicate. And we're going to change this to change this to rocks. Okay. Once that's done, we're going to make it larger, as large as we want it to be. And go ahead and outline our text. Once we outline the text, we cannot make any other edits to what we want the words to say. So if I wanted to go in here and try to make this a capital R, I couldn't. So let me go back and unoutline it. And I want to change the type to uppercase, just like that. Resize rocks. Let's center it up here with the align center. And now we're going to create an outline those are outlined. Let's expand it or ungroup. And I want to change the colors. So I'm going to use a red, an orange, another orange, a lighter orange, a yellow, and a lighter yellow. Okay, and I have those done. I want to line this up just a tad bit more and I need to create some space in between some of these letters. So I'm just gonna go in and manually move this stuff around here. Uh, move this E over here and there we have it. I wanna group these letters, group, and then the rocks. I like how it's looking already. I ungrouped them. So now let me just move those up here space it out there and I like the way this looks. So once this is done, hmm, we we'll say we'll let's we need to um well we won't put another object in right now. So this is done. We're gonna do file save as and we're gonna save this as an SVG file. And you always want to save as an SVG file to bring into um design space. It just makes it a whole lot easier to work with. Um, and we're going to save, I'll just save it to my desktop nurses, save, make sure that says convert to outline. If not, when you open it up in design space, it's going to say it doesn't recognize some of the characters and you may have an N, but no U, a R, but no O. So just make sure that says outline. Hit OK, save, and now we're going to open up Cricut Design Space, launch it. And let's make this bigger. And we're going to pr new project, upload, upload. Let's see, I had already done it before, but we're going to do it again upload nurses that's on my desktop choose and we're going to click save once this saves it does take a little bit of time sometimes we're going to select that image and insert image into the design space now once you insert it it brings it all in as one group first you want to ungroup them and what I like to do is go over to the layers and select my colors and group them together versus grouping the whole object together. So once that's there, do weld. So rocks is one image and nurses, I weld that together as well. That's one image and see it changes the color. Let's go back, undo that. Instead of welding, what would be better is to attach. Nope, that doesn't work either. Let's go back. Um, 
we can leave it like this. I'm sorry, we can. This would be just fine, just like this. So then we're going to go to make. And I did unconnect my Cricut machine, but everything is there. So your black text is on your black. It will make a black uh, mat and use your black vinyl. And you want to make sure that you're doing the mirror, um, the mirror view because it's cutting it out and you're going to let it down on your shirt. And here's the other letters, each additional color. And for each one, you need to make sure you remember, collect, click mirror, just like that. And then once that's done, you will hit continue. And because I don't have my device connected, you can't see my Cricut machine, but it will say load in your mat and hit start. And after that, it's done. Yes, I want to cancel because I'm not actually cutting. Now to save a project, you go to my, well, let me go back. We need to go back to the canvas. Now to save the project, you click save. I'm gonna call it nurses, save. once that saves that part is done if you're creating this file for someone you can actually go to my projects do the share and usually it'll tell you you need to add more details to it you add whatever description you want and you click save you need to you also need to create another image so that um i think that's just for viewing and let me see do i have one i don't have one but you would save an image here and then hit save and then it'll come up and you can share it 